episode 74 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Quick glance down there at the rankings at the tables, Chelsea on top of the league, Eggy on top of the goal rankings, lovely, lovely work at the moment for Eggy. We start off today's episode against Huddersfield and then we move into Everton at home and then Bournemouth away. These are probably games I would have skipped but I've been too busy to even play games in between recording at the moment. And today, which is Father's Day, I've eaten a lot of very fine quality sausage. Oh, some really good sausages today. A little bit slow, I'm feeling a little <laughs> bit lethargic after so much quality meat, but I'm sure some eggy magic will get me firing again. Strong side today, Ruben Loftus-Cheek out there on the right-hand side of the midfield. That's where we like him, that's the link-up. Rogani starts alongside Miranda. This is a pretty, I mean, this is almost the perfect lineup, except for Trent, obviously a big miss. Why is he not playing? Some made on the upward arrow. Hazard Morata up top. I mean, really, they are the ones we want to be playing with. And against a team like Huddersfield with so many 60 rated players, I think this would be a little more than a formality. Let's go. So Eggy has in real life returned to Lekki Gdansk to start training for next season. I'm really hoping, especially seeing as Lekki Gdansk are in the Europa League, that he starts to play some minutes. Imagine if Lekki Gdansk and Arsenal got drew against each other. Oh, wow. And if that happens, I'm 100% going to watch. And I really hope Eggy is at a point where he's playing. So uh, that's the dream. Right, let's do this. Kante into Hazard. He lays it off. Angelo Kante. Eggy's made a smart run here. Ball into him. He's taken it down. Strokes it home with the right foot. And we're off to the perfect start. Stamford Bridge crowd now. Just, they expect this sort of genius. Obviously, Eden Hazard is a player that they've been able to watch for the last few years and enjoy this real quality attacking play but Eggy now there's questions is he better will he be better I think he definitely will be better that's a great finish can finish with his right finish with his left now he's got absolutely no problems how quickly he's progressed as well since the Waslin Beveren days where he had a lot of areas of his game that just weren't good enough but now he's a real all-rounder wow my god <laughs> Wasn't even really concentrating there. I didn't think they were going to go for goal. <sighs> Kepa has been well beaten there. That is some free kick from the number seven. That's definitely their first chance. They've had about 30% possession. That's not in the script today, Huddersfield. Right, fine. Just to score again. The away side now full of confidence, having scored the equalising goal. And Kamara now will bring it into the box, trapped by Ragani. Oh, nice close passing here. Ball in, looking for Aaron Moy. Deflection. Corner here for Huddersfield. Sobi rises above the Chelsea defender. And it's off the bar and suddenly Huddersfield looking the most dangerous side here. Chelsea can't seem to get the ball back. Certainly can't create any chances at the moment. So there we are, half-time. Pretty uninspiring stuff. I think we dominated. Wow, no. Huddersfield came back. At one point we had 60% possession. That must have been in the first 20 minutes. Then Huddersfield, since scoring the goal, have had... Yeah, they've been on top here. Yeah, Uninspiring. I mean, the, the start to this season has felt uninspiring, even though we're top of the table, even though Eggy is the highest goal scorer. So hopefully we continue that trend of not appearing to play well, but then winning and ultimately coming out on top. That's the goal. Right, let's do this. Come on. Morata on the turn. Finds Eggy. Loftus Cheeks made a good run. Eggy with the ball over the top. Jorgensen had to do well there. Looking for the uh, big man, little man link up again. Almost found him. Can we find anyone from this corner? The outswinger here. Blue shirts lining up. None of them could get to it. I think he wants it back out wide. It's a good ball. Whips a really dangerous cross here. Morata there. No, it's not Morata. It's Eden Hazard. And it falls back to the Belgian. Rather kindly there off the post. But what a ball that was. In from Eggy. From the left-hand side. He was over there for the corner. Ball came back out. He demanded it back from Emerson. And then one touch here, and look at that. The most dangerous of whipped crosses. Someone was going to find that there. And it turned out to be Eden Hazard. We've regained our lead. Highball ball looking for Morata. If he can get a good flick on here. Eggy's in a really dangerous area. And he'll look again for Eden Hazard. It's a perfectly weighted ball over the top from Eggy. Hazard shows great strength. The keeper does well. Huddersfield certainly not rolling over here. Certainly not taking this defeat. They're continuing to push. There's the guy with the long name. Plays it back out to Di Carbi. <laughs> Off the face of Regani. Another effort and it goes wide. Ball into Mbenza. The substitute finds Moy. Wow! And the Australian has levelled things up again for Huddersfield. 
Jesus Christ, and it's getting dangerously close to the end here. Let's take another look. Eggy isolated there, not really tracking back very much. I don't think he was to blame for this one. It's in Benza, the substitute, who finds Moy. Oh dear. Right, fine, another goal it is. It's one of those games, is it? My ball, and it's going to be Eggy who jumps for it. I think he got a touch to that. Morata's offside. He's not, he's onside. Finish it, Alvaro! Yes! <laughs> a storming finish there from the Spaniard. Sees us go ahead again here. Surely that should be enough here at Stamford Bridge. And um, Eggy rising for this one. It's a brilliant header into Hazard. I know we always look to praise Eggy more than anyone else, but to get up there with the huge centre-back, flick it perfectly to Hazard, and not to Morata, who was offside, was inspired. And then Hazard, well, I thought Morata was going to be offside again there, but he wasn't. He just managed to sneak back onside. And we've seen him miss far easier chances than that this season. Hammered that one home. Please, let's just be done with this now, shall we? So, Eggy is clapped off here. I'm not sure why he's being substituted at this point in the game. That is very rare, but also good. I'd like to see that happen more often. Eggy's been key to this success. He's had a goal and he's had an assist as well. But great to see him getting the adulation of the Stamford Bridge faithful. He deserves it. It's a nice touch from Sarri. I think he really feels that Eggy should be getting more credit. That's clearly why he took him off there with only four minutes to go. And good for Eggy to get a rest. When you've scored a goal, that basically never happens. And it's nice to get that little animation as well. He's a fan favourite here, of course he is. And uh, hopefully now, let's see this one out. So there we are, at times not pretty, but we got it done in the end. Eggy passing brilliantly today. Alongside, obviously, scoring the first goal. Just pinging. Flat balls, balls over the top, all sorts of passes. A, a huge range of passes um, throughout this game. Looking to be the playmaker. Set up the second goal with an incredible cross in for Hazard. That was a very well taken first as well. And that's the sort of performance of champions, really. Not necessarily being the better side. Huddersfield came here and they made it difficult for us, but in the end we had just enough firepower. 7.5 to the front three. That's pretty special. Don't see that very often. Kepper, it's a bit of a letdown for that free kick. We shouldn't really have made it so close, but we got the win. And there we have it. We will stay top of the league. Well, we might not. Goal difference. No, we got four goal difference, so Manchester City will need to win by a lot to uh, take us from the top spot at the moment. Only lost one this season. Can we keep it at one? We've got a good chance of winning the league if we continue these performances. Grinding out the wins in games like that that could be a uh, banana skin if you're not careful. Eggy, I mean, just look at that development sheet. Another dramatic improvement now would be incredible. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's impossible. We've had it before. It could take us into the 90s very, very quickly. So a nice long break now. We remain at Stamford Bridge and we invite Everton. Where are Everton in the league at the moment? Everton are sitting in fifth. They're having a pretty good season at 21st in the club ranking. That seems quite high. Right, let's go and see how we're lining up today. It's Eggy, Hazard and Alvaro again. You wouldn't change that really after that performance. Uh, no Loftus-Cheek today. Not even on the bench. Where's he gone then? Downward arrow, fine. So Barkley comes in, Jorginho. Kante's in there, that's key, and Trent's back in, lovely stuff. We're up against Luca Digne today, not the quickest, but a pretty good defender, all in all. Richarlison on that side as well, will he be doing his duties? Look at that, Tom Davis up to 89. Wow, highly rated. He's just coming into his prime now as well. So there was a very, very warm reception from Reggie when he went off in the last game. Chelsea fans know he is the key to this season. He's the key to Premier League success. Another title for Chelsea looks within reach at this very early stage. If we can keep up the performances, who knows? I think the Chelsea fans might be daring to dream. Gomez, ball in, finds Tosin. Bollocks. I mean, we're about five minutes in. That's far too simple. Dave had no fucking clue where the striker was. Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful defending. Fine, right, we go again. We start again. Alvedi now in a dangerous position. Good low ball into Tosin. That's come off the post. Hit Kepper, come off the post again and gone out. But Tosin will have another chance here. Davis, we can't get it clear. Andre Gomez with a good effort. Yep, Everton have got us pinned back here. We're in real trouble. Tosin back here into Gomez. He's through here. Kepper, great save. Keeping us in this one. Just about kept the last effort out somehow off the post a couple of times. This, a far more conventional save and a much needed one as Gomez has played through with a lovely back heel from Cenk Tosin. Deary me, this is not panning out well. 
Eggy short into Hazard. Lovely ball into Emerson now. Emerson, can he find Eggy? He can! Eggy gets the shot off. He's hit it sweetly. At a difficult angle. Pickford with a good save in the end. And that's half time here at Stamford Bridge. It's not going to plan. Goal in the eighth minute. Far too easy. And they've had all the chances, all the possession. Sarri needs to go back to the drawing board in a big way in this half time break. Somehow inspire Chelsea again. But we know he's got that in his locker, especially this season. Had a lot of late wins. We've had a lot of comebacks. Can we find another one? Egg. Takes the ball back off Richarlison. Finds a good pass into Eden Hazard. Smart turn from the Belgian. And now Emerson. Eggy wants it through the centre. That's a good ball. Eggy with the back heel into Morata. Difficult opportunity. But he finishes it off perfectly. Great awareness from Eggy there. He knew where the striker was. But what a finish that is from Alvaro Morata. However good Eggy's back heel was, he had a hell of a lot still to do. Let's take another look here. Eggy, a little chop back inside, but he's turned it onto his right foot. Beaten Pickford. We've got the goal to bring us level here. Can we go on and win this one? Walcott now whips a good ball in. It's dangerous. Miranda heads back to Gay. What a hit that is. Narrowly wide. So final moments of this one. Oh, Morata's ball isn't a good one, but ah... And there we go, one all. Pfft. Tricky game, but we kept plugging away. We came back into it. We're having, we're starting slowly, I think is the problem at the moment. We're not starting anywhere near with the ferocity and intensity that we need. We're able to normally find that in the second half, and we did this time. We found the goal eventually. Higgy the creator once again. Hazard not good enough today. Barkley consistently poor. Yeah, we were sort of a bit fortunate, I would say. And this could allow Manchester City to move back to the top of the table. No, they drove as well with Fulham. So we'll stay top. Arsenal now within a point. Couldn't take the uh, take the advantage there. So Eggy on 16 goals in 14 appearances, 7.3. Looking good. It's been pretty difficult for us to drag up our career rating average. Still at 6.5, despite an over-7 season last time out. But yeah, no, no real worries about Eggy's stats at the moment. Still looking good. Is it maybe time to learn another skill? It could be. But anyway, only three days later, we've got a trip down south to Bournemouth. I went to uh, Sandbanks recently, which is sort of near Bournemouth. Harry Redknapp stomping ground. It's a very nice beach. It is a nice beach. You can see why he moved there. Right, more Premier League action. Can we get a win today to finish this episode off strongly? Look at that. Interestingly, Bournemouth have sold a lot of players. They've only got six, no, seven available players on the bench. It's pretty rare and become a legend. Chelsea have still got a very, very deep squad. Off to cheek again, not featuring. Drink water. It's a rare one. Kante was poor. Martinez in today. Morata has saved our bacon in the last couple of games, so I'm not too happy to see him on the bench. But he is tied on a downward arrow. Bournemouth have got Rafinha. They've got Cook in the middle. Obviously, he's a really strong player. Wilson up top. Down to 70 rated now. He's declined rapidly. Right, let's win this one. Oh, and they've got big zags at the back. Oh, ho hero of this channel so still top of the table just about and we're under the lights here at Bournemouth it's never an easy trip down to uh, the south coast it's a good side but they're not the side they once were Rafinha even one of their big signings he's declined as well right let's do this Kante that's a good ball into Martinez his flick will find Eggy lovely quick feet there Still Eggy, that's a great ball through into Martinez. Finish it off here. No. Oh, that's annoying. Really incisive counter-attacking play there from Chelsea. Just lacking the Morata finishing. I can't believe we're saying it. Oh, good ball to find Danny Alves. Fuck, I didn't even notice him. He'll move into the box now. The veteran low ball in for Wilson. It's off the post. Wow. The slow starting is happening again. Almost gave that away there. And they'll have another chance here with Mousse. There it is. There's the slow start. For fuck's sake. Poor, poor clearance there. What was it? Van Ginkel? What are you doing? What are you doing? No one could readjust. And we're behind early on once again. Oh, good ball through. Regani's lets it run. Wilson through here. And that is number two. And that is some finish from the veteran. It's a great ball through the centre. You feel like Rakani could have put a foot in there. As soon as Wilson was allowed to get his body between the defender and ball. It's game over there. 
Oh, chance here on the break. Martinez can find Eggy and he does. Inside of Sigali. Out to Hazard. Kante into Eggy. Onto the left. Hits it low, but not anywhere near hard enough. Good build up there. Ruined by a poor effort. Eggy forward. Hazard to his right hand side. Martinez ahead of him. Finds his way past. Danny Alves. Low ball in. Ah, Zagadou gets the clearance. Eggy a little too generous there. I think we could have gone alone. We'd beaten Alves to it. And there we have it. 2-0 here. Oh, we've been outplayed. There's no doubt about it. One shot for Chelsea. We're sort of stumbling into a pretty poor patch of form at the moment, which is being maybe slightly glossed over. I think if we lose today, especially by a two-goal margin, then discussions really need to be had about the shape of this side. Right, come on. Pick it up. Let's at least get a draw here. Well one back there. Golo Kante on the turn. He wants it on the ground into the box. Big Zags with the slide. Martinez lays it off. Hazard into Eggy. Rafinha gets there. Damn it. Hazard now steps inside, but Big Zags is having absolutely none of it. Cook into Wilson now. And Moussa into Dermas. They're just looking so confident. They've got this game 100% under control. Cook with a lovely ball into Mousse. He'll look for Nathan. Miranda just about deals with it. But yeah, we're not finding a way back into this at this rate. Kante does brilliantly there. Hazard spins away from Big Zags. Now it's just Morata and Eggy bringing it forward. Morata back to Eggy. Looks to step inside with his first touch. Looking for the dummy. That did not work even in the slightest. And it's full time here. That's one of the worst performances. We've been threatening to be beaten poorly like this for a while. Despite being top of the league, despite having the league's top scorer, we've not been on song, it feels like, for the past four or five games. And today we were badly, badly beaten. Eggy with a 5.5. That's his worst rating of the season. Chelsea as a side were awful. We certainly will drop off the top spot now and look at that plummet down into fifth. It's very close to the top. Leicester involved still in a uh, top five battle. Look at that. It's some drop. So poor end to the episode and we need to get our uh, form back up for the Dortmund game, which will be a tough one. Sarri needs to go and smoke a few cigarettes, a bit of introspection, work out what the fuck's wrong with this side and make us better. I'll see you in a bit.